Hello? Hello? Come on in. Okay. Take a seat. Okay. This is the speaking test of the International English Language Testing System taking place on Saturday, the 22nd of February at Science Progress Center. Center number is SPC 9725125. The candidate is Srar Nizambayev and the candidate number is 9305025500. The examiner is Timur Rahamjanov. The examiner number is 9955267655. Good evening. Good evening. So my name is Timur Rahamjanov and uh, can I have your full name? My full name is Israel Nizambayev. Mm -hmm. And uh, what shall I call you? You can just call me Israel. Very good. Start. Can I see you writing? Of course you can. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good. Now, okay. So let's talk about what you do. Uh, do you work or study? At the present time, I'm working as a general director and an IELTS uh, instructor at a teaching center called Science Progress, but in the past I used to study at the university. Mm -hmm. Very good. And uh, do you enjoy your job? Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I do, mm -hmm. uh, because I'm quite mad about teaching and managing this stuff, mm -hmm. and I've been doing this job in my city for over 16 years now. Mm -hmm. And where do you come from? I come from a city called Namangan, which is located on the northeastern part of Uzbekistan. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, can you tell me something about your city? Well, to be quite honest with you, I must admit that uh, Namangan is one of the largest and cosmopolitan cities, mm -hmm. uh, not only in Uzbekistan, but also in uh, Central Asia, mm -hmm. uh, because of the fact that it offers lots of uh, uh, public and uh, private uh, transportation services and, and uh, besides this uh, it has lots of skyscrapers and shopping malls. Okay, great. Now what can you tell me about your street? Uh, when it comes to my street uh, I think my street uh, can be considered as uh, one of the overcrowded streets in my city because there are lots of uh, people uh, offering uh, products uh, to the people who are passing by and uh, they want you to use their uh, taxi services or uh, to get their the products that are, that they are selling and uh, besides this uh, there, uh, the, there is an open-air market and a shopping mall called Shoblik just in, uh, opposite my street. Okay. Okay. Now let's talk about transportation and uh, how do people travel to work? Actually, in my city, uh, most of the people uh, travel to work by using public transportation, mm -hmm. uh, but you can see other people as well who are using their own uh, private automobiles, mm -hmm. and uh, there are some students and, and some youngsters who are using the bicycles to get to their own destination. Mm -hmm. Great. And uh, are there any wrong problems there? Uh, well, uh, I must admit that uh, we have lots of traffic uh, problems uh, on the roads. Uh, one would be uh, traffic incidents such as uh, uh, car collisions and the crossroads. Uh, you, I think uh, we have car accident, accidents three times a week, uh -huh. to, in my opinion. Maybe it might be more than that as well. And uh, sometimes the traffic lights are off because of the electricity problems. And uh, because of the fact that there are constructions uh, uh, going on uh, on the roads, next to the roads, it also uh, has uh, uh, kind of uh, impact on the traffic jams we have. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how do those traffic problems affect you? Actually, uh, as a general uh, director of a company called uh, Science Progress, I must be uh, actually on time at work. But because of the fact that there are lots of uh, incidents and the traffic jams on the roads, I have to be late for work. How can I become an example uh, as a manager to the people who are working with me? I mean, uh, the, the employees who are uh, uh, under my control, for example. That's why I find it very uh, hard and disgusting uh, to be late for work because of these road uh, incidents. Okay. And what do you think? What actions should be taken to improve the situation? I think if I had the chance or if I were to choose what to 
do in order to avoid such kind of problems, I would definitely choose to uh, impose charges, uh, fines for people who are parking their uh, cars on the road. Uh, it, it seems to me that our streets and the roads are messy with the cars which are parked wrong. And uh, I would uh, uh, maybe widen the roads, for example. It seems to me that the roads we have now have become uh, old-fashioned. They're uh, narrow, and now uh, we need to widen the roads. And I would definitely organize alternative routes as well. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you very much.